Hi guys, day 7, no insulin. Um, when I woke up, my blood sugar was 107. I didn't have my phone, so I couldn't uh, film it. Not too bad. I had some uh, turkey breast, had some eggs, um, had an avocado, and now my sugar is... 155. Um, so yeah, it's all over the place. Uh, I was kind of hoping, <laughs> hoping against hope, but I was kind of hoping that maybe um, I had accomplished my goal with my first um, try, but apparently not. So there's more. Um, there's more that needs to be done. I um, think. Well, I'm trying to think of what the next thing should be. Maybe, maybe avocado is not the uh, the the right thing. Um, I know that my body is uh, not in a. It's in a, in a state of mild ketosis. My ken, uh, ketones have gone down. So now I'm not uh, digesting um, fat as much as I'm digesting, I guess maybe, I don't even know. It, my brain's trying to rely on sugar again or something. I'm not, I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna go with this. Um, I will uh, probably drink some coffee and get back with you. Okay, that last level was a bit uh, disconcerting, um, about an hour later, and now it's at 140. I'm about to go have some salad and chicken and uh, see if I can use meat protein, um, animal, pro uh, animal fat rather, to uh, bring down those levels. Okay, uh, ate a salad a couple hours ago, it's 177. Things are rising, things are not looking good for this uh, experiment. So. Um, I'm going to um, not eat anything and fast again until I'm below 100, and then we'll try again. Okay, so um, I took a nap. Uh, it's been three hours, and uh, now my blood is... Glucose, rather, is at 126. 126, so it's going down. Um, as soon as it gets below 100, then I'll have a small meal. and. Um, I think maybe the key lies in, um, maybe the key lies in, in staying in a highly ketotic. That's that's the word actually, uh, ketotic state, uh, or maybe like a moderately ketotic state where, um, where I am eating enough fat in small um, instances to give my body fuel. Uh, when it has switched over after keto a adaptation, which has already happened. And um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to be taking a 12-hour uh, car ride, so this is going to be um, interesting. And then tomorrow um, I'll be uh, shopping for a house. So um, this weekend's going to be crazy, but I promise once I, I get the new place that I'm going to set everything up, set the ca uh, camera up, and have much better, much higher quality videos, and I'll be able to sit for longer in a, in a more well-lit room, and I'll be able to talk to you guys about my theories and about what I, I seem to be finding. Talk to you soon. Okay, it's the middle of the night, and um, I was wanting to test... Um, how um, artificial sweeteners, nasty sweeteners, which I shouldn't be putting into my body, was uh, kind of uh, wanting to test and see how they affected uh, blood sugar. Um, I know a lot of people, I know they're not theoretically supposed to raise uh, blood sugar, but I, I heard that they, re uh, that they still cause an insulin release and that they increase um, or decrease insulin sensitivity. I hope not. Um, but uh, there's no time to try it like the present because it's the middle of the night and I'm driving to, to Wichita. I have a long, long way to go. So uh, right now my blood sugar is 122 and I'm going to drink this nasty rock star. And um, when it's done, um, I guess I'll wait. I'll, I'll try my blood sugar in one hour and then in two hours I'll let you know what's up. Okay, it's been an hour and a half. Um, I'm making another pit stop, which I usually don't do so often, but I just drank a full energy drink. So, um, blood sugar is 115. So it doesn't spike blood sugar, or at least not right now. Okay, it's five in the morning. Stopping for gas. Um, I um, ate 
a tube of sunflower seeds and um, ate them, uh, shelled them little by little while I was driving because that, that helps keep me awake. So I decided to test my sugar. Stopped for coffee too. Uh, well, I have coffee right now. I just got it. And my sugar is exactly 120. So yeah, sweet. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, it's been a couple of days. I'm probably going to tack this on to the next video. Um, the video from a couple days ago. Uh, last time I talked to you guys, I was driving. And so um, I was letting you know what was going on. And uh, what happened was I got here, um, had a little beer. Next thing you know, um, I was very, very tired. And my blood sugar had gone up. Um, uh, I basically lounged around all day, didn't eat a lot of food, and went to sleep. And uh, when I woke up uh, this morning, my blood sugar was about one, well, let's see, it was about 130. And then um, I had uh, I, I decided I wasn't going to eat um, until my blood sugar went down to below 100. But the thing is, is that... Uh, I had to go to church, and I didn't want to be dead in church, so what I did was I drank some coffee to lower my blood sugar a little bit, and I drank, uh, or I ate a couple of pieces of cauliflower, and I ate, like, half an apple, which is probably pretty dumb, but then my blood sugar shot up. After church, I tested it, and it was at 175, okay? That was about two hours right after I ate, so that was bad, and I said, what do I do? My wife says, well, you need to eat, so we went to um, Whole Foods, and um, I ate um, a bunch of uh, salad bar, but I didn't eat anything that had a, uh, I ate no, no um, strong carbs. I basically ate greens, I ate chicken, um, I had a couple of vegetables, but um, mostly, yeah, nothing that was starchy, nothing that was going to raise my blood sugar. And when I came home and tested my blood sugar after that, it actually went down to 138, then it went down to 133. Now, since then, for hours, I've felt terrible. My head is foggy. Um, I feel almost like I'm intoxicated. Um, no headache, no nausea, nothing that would, uh, that would um, indicate ketoacidosis or anything like that. Usually ketoacidosis is um, coupled by extremely high blood sugar, which I don't have extremely high blood sugar. Um, and I can't really figure out what's going on. Um, I ate an avocado a little bit ago, and it made me feel a little bit better. And when I tested my blood sugar after that, it had gone down slightly. It's not like uh, eating is making it go up. And that's weird, okay? Now, somebody in the comments, um, Slave77 is what he was called, he uh, mentioned that uh, without insulin, my body will go into hypoglycemia because the cells aren't getting any sugar from the blood. Okay, now, I do kind of understand that logic a little bit, except for the terminology doesn't make sense, because um, hypoglycemia means low blood sugar. Do I have low blood sugar? No. My blood sugar is slightly elevated above the normal levels, but is it acutely elevated? No, it's not. So that can't be it. It can't be hypoglycemia. Okay, the next thing is that if my blood was chap, uh, trapped in my, or if my glucose was trapped in the blood and had no place to escape, it co could cause acid levels to go up. And so I checked my ketones and they're still, um, they're still in the middle. They're, I don't have high um, acetone in my urine. So, so it's not acidosis either. Also, none of the usual symptoms such as nausea and vomiting, um, no uh, abdominal pain, um, Anyway, the thing is, is I can't figure out what's wrong. Perhaps my cells, right, my cells throughout my entire body are not getting any glucose because, uh, because there's no insulin in my body, all right? That's possible. However, um, anybody, any normal human being can choose to fast for 30 days and they would be fine, all right? Um, they might lose some weight. Their body would go into autolysis. They would, um, there's a fly bugging around me. Um, they would, they would go into autolysis. They would start to digest themselves, right? And they would still not, um, 
starve themselves until they reach a critical mass. The thing about that is um, my body hasn't reached that critical mass because I still have fat uh, reserves. I have uh, belly fat and other things. I'm not emaciated. I haven't lost any weight. So my cells can't actually be starving. All right. If anybody, Slave77, if you're watching this, um, I haven't checked back since, uh, since I saw your last... Um, since I saw your last comment. Maybe you have some knowledge about this that I don't have. If you could um, fill me in, send me some links. I can't find anything online about it. I have found numerous things on fasting and going into hypoglycemia, but they're all talking about um, when you fast, your basal insulin can make you go into hypoglycemia, but there's nothing that I've seen at all about fasting with no insulin and diabetes. If somebody could send me some resources, I'd like to know what it is. If this continues, I'm gonna have to change my, um, gonna have to change my methodology. I can't feel like this all the time, and plus it's kind of scary. Uh, maybe I'll hit an emergency room or something, but if I do, they're just gonna give me the regular crap that people say, which is, um, oh, you can't fast on, you know, with diabetes because the insulin you take is gonna make you, uh, it's going to make your, your, your blood sugar drop super low and you're going to have a hypoglycemic attack. And then I say, well, I haven't taken any insulin. They say, oh, if you're not taking any insulin, then your blood sugar is going to be sky high. But it's not. So none of this is making a lot of sense. Please, somebody, fill me in. Thank you. Okay, I have not stopped feeling weird. Um, I almost uh, felt like I had a seizure earlier. When I was walking. Um, I don't have a headache at all. Um, it's hard for me to swallow a little bit, so slight dysphagia. Um, I have a strange taste in the mouth. My head feels full of pressure, but no headache. Um, the seizure thing, it was like turning to talk to a friend, and everything went like white electricity for a second, and I, I almost forgot where I was, just for a brief moment. Um, oh, let's see. Uh, no nausea. I don't necessarily feel fatigue, although my first thought is to go to sleep and sleep this off. You know, one of those things. Uh, my ketones are high in the urine. Um, my blood sugar is almost normal, slightly above normal. Uh, there's really no signs of ketoacidosis, and uh, there's definitely no sign of hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia. So I don't know exactly what is going on, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little test because um, I need to be. Uh, seen by a doctor if I can't correct this. Um, probably pretty fast. One thing that I'm postulating is that perhaps me putting stress on my body um, doing this has awakened some other latent problem that uh, just might be aggravated by it. Maybe I had some other pathology, I don't know. What I do know is that I'm going to take um, a large meal, a carb laden meal, and I'm going to take um, insulin to counteract it. And then I'm going to see if I feel better. So I'll let you know what I eat and what my blood sugar levels are in a couple hours. Hi. So it's been a couple of days since, uh, since the last video that, uh, <laughs> that you just watched. Um, it turns out that I... Um, the acidic state of my blood, I, I didn't have hypoglycemia, and I didn't have high blood sugar, and I didn't have um, uh, ketoacidosis. Um, but the acidic state of my blood and the um, inability for sugar to leave my blood um, caused the potassium to uh, be leached into my blood to um, maintain a state of electroneutrality. Uh, it's called um, hyperkalemia. And uh, that much potassium in my blood um, put me uh, very near death, actually. And uh, <laughs> I had to treat it with insulin and food, actually. Insulin and glucose, that's how they treat it, even uh, with somebody who's never had diabetes. So uh, it's regulated now. I feel way, way better. Um, it's funny, the last shot they give a convicted uh, felon on death row when they give him a lethal injection is potassium to stop the heart. So, yeah, it was pretty... Uh, Pretty terrible, but um, I've been eating uh, normal food for the last 24 hours and taking normal insulin, and uh, I'm probably going to start on a, a slow-carb diet tomorrow, so I'll be <laughs> back, and I'll let you guys know how that's uh, working out. Um, after that, I'll probably get into maybe a um, 
Well, I'll probably try um, Dr. Young's pH Miracle because uh, I think that what I did has a lot of potential, but uh, it just has to be treat to um, avoid certain side effects like death. Um, but the maintaining a super alkaline diet, maybe that would do better uh, for maintaining um, a healthier blood pH uh, that would uh, help me avoid potassium in the blood. So, uh, well, back to the old drawing board, but uh, thank you for watching this far, and uh, thanks for being patient through, uh, through days of no videos. But uh, yeah, everything's okay, but it's, uh, it's good to know that these... Uh, well, I just thank God for his mercy and for <laughs> leading me and uh, helping me figure these things out so that I don't uh, fall into death. Talk to you soon. Bye.